Instrumentalist Sarah the Instrumentalist You're listening to Sarah the Instrumentalist Bruh no quantize No quantize we like it wild I don't quantize my beats I like them wild Microwave beats tonight with Sarah the instrumentalist. Actually, I'm right now. I'm live. I get to watch her live right now. It's crazy. Everybody, welcome to Microwave Beats. It's me. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday, the 29th of March. Um, I love March. My birthday was on the 25th, which was Monday, and I released Microwave Beats Volume 1. If you're here, I appreciate you being here. If I'm having any issues, let me know. If it's too loud, if it's too soft, or if it's lagging, let me know. I'm working on making sure the stream looks really good. like to improve as I go anyways um, as a birthday gift to myself I released uh, my first official like real release as an independent artist so 
you know, I've had beat tapes before I released, but they weren't official in the sense that I didn't do it properly. Like, as a beat maker, when you first start, you're probably gonna grab some vinyl. No one's really listening to you. You're gonna do what you need to do. But now that I literally have like, literally billions of people listening to my music, um, I don't wanna have any, any samples that aren't cleared. So this project, Microwave Beats, is all royalty-free sounds, mainly from the Sample Lab. So shout out to the Sample Lab for um, giving me access to a lot of their samples. And I use, uh, shout out to Zounds as well because they provided the NPCX. Um, this, this, I'm not sure if you can see, see the corner of it. I'm gonna do like a um, SP404 live set in a second. But um, these, these, these companies, these brands have helped me out um, as well as just being here on YouTube and having a consistent schedule coming up here on Fridays. It has helped me accountable for creating music consistently because there's time like even this week I haven't made anything because I've been so busy with birthday stuff, personal stuff, car stuff, whatever stuff. And um, like sometimes it's hard to just be creative. You get tired and, um, but having this live stream, I, I'm i committed to it and it's at least once a week. It's not like I'm doing it three times a week like some people. So I'm like, if I could show up, then at least I know I'll be ma able to make some <laughs> music and um, hang out with people that love music as much as I do. So, but yeah. Um, Yes, um, I'm an Aries. This is all Aries season. This is the first. I'm the first um, zodiac sign, and I'm, I'm very much an Aries. I'm a double Aries, the Scorpio moon. So, yeah. <laughs> um, well, we got um, we got Dojo, the cool of cool here. Thank you for being here and Logic, the beat man. Gerd, uh, Gerd Wolf, I appreciate you, Bobcat the Legend, coming through, getting the done production LLC. Appreciate y'all coming through, dropping where you're at. We got um, we got Germany in the house. Shout out to Germany. I got me a pinata. I got two pinatas. This is someone. I uh, this is what the company gave me. I actually got my first pinata this week. And we're gonna smash it with some of my friends tomorrow, hopefully as long as the weather is good. But this is like the gift the lady gave me is from Amazing Pinatas. Here in LA, they do some really cool, uh, they have cool pinata shops. And I've never busted a pinata. So like, I went to Disneyland on my birthday on on Monday because I'm just really like tapping into like, what, what are the things that I didn't really get to do as a kid? Let me do it now. Like, why would I dwell on that? I didn't get to do Well. You got money now. Let's go. Would well, you want a piano? Okay, let's go get a piano. You want to go to Disneyland? Okay. What do you want to eat? Everything. So, that's what I did and released a um a album, Microwave Beats Volume One. So I'm gonna play that for us. Um, today is the last day to pre-order the vinyl. There's literally only a hundred that's gonna be printed. We're literally almost sold out. If you are interested, I would highly recommend clicking the link. It is pinned in the description. This is a limited edition. There's only going to be 100 copies. And if you do order, it's expected to be delivered by the end of May. So yes, I'm excited. It's my first vinyl. It's my first independent release. Um, I'm very proud of this. It's something I've worked very hard on for a long time. And... Very proud to share with you guys the music. So this is music that we, well, when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> this is music that I created through on this live stream on YouTube th for the last year. So I'm going to play that. And uh, if you guys want to stream it, it's on, it's on the, all the streaming services. It's on Bandcamp. Would, would that be like number one place to, to, to support is just go to Bandcamp and purchase the album there. Um, because we know streaming is weird. <laughs> You're not really getting paid um, the way, it, you know, we are, we know, right? So if you can't get the vinyl, totally fine. If 
because some people don't have vinyl players. You don't need a vinyl player to get vinyl, by the way. There's a lot of vinyl here that I haven't even listened to that I just love. I'm like, this is great. I've never given this away. I don't even know what it sounds like. I got Spice Girls wrapped up. I'm never taking it out. Every time I look at it, I'm like, ooh, I want to take it out. I don't know. I need to go buy another one. Something about certain vinyls, right? So that's my thing. So, so we got St. Louis in the house. Um, thanks for the love, Bobcat, the legend. We got Lancaster, California. How's the weather today for y'all? Is it nice? It's beautiful today over here. I've, I've noticed spring is springing. Um, thanks for the love, natural uh, kayak fishing. For, <laughs> thanks for liking my beats. Thanks for listening. Um, we're going to play some. and I'm going to play the whole microwave beats and then maybe we'll make like an Afro beat, like a hip hop Afro beat. That's something I'm working on right now. I um, may really two really dope songs I'm really like happy about so I'm going to continue to make this EP um so yeah um I use your beats in my videos from YouTube library nice yes some of my beats are in the YouTube library they're like kind of hidden it's like a little secret <laughs> glad you found it um, real quick, let me show. Let me pull up uh, a few things real quick. Yeah, we're going to go to the Bandcamp site real quick just to check out the artwork real quick. But yeah, this is Microwave Beats Volume 1, you guys. We're going to play it here. Um, I'm going to play all 22 beats. We made all these beats here in this live stream. So thank you so much for coming through. And if it sounds familiar, you remember, oh, I remember when she chopped that up. I was here. I was here. Shout that out. I appreciate you. All the videos are, are still here on YouTube if you want to check it out. Um, may make like a collage or something and try to figure out you know look at how this was made now it's done you know what i'm saying so um what's up dj heavy j let me move this I'm back. Hold on, let me fix this for myself. All right, that's better. I could see the chat right here. I have this iPad right here on the corner. So I'm able to see you guys and look at the camera instead of looking over here, like moving around. Anyways, I'm trying to get this to be more better uh, economic for me and I can participate in what's going on over here. So um, what's up, DJ Heavy J? Bobcat the Legend says Microwave Beast is amazing. Thank you so much. So this is also like my first project where how I mastered the actual um I I did it differently. And so I had took all 22 beats and I put each song in Ableton on this each on each track. Okay, so just, I could show you guys this later on, but just imagine taking 22 songs and have, putting two, 22 tracks and, um, you know, they're all, you know, one here, down here, and it's playing one after another, right? Each song, I wanted to make sure that it transitioned really smooth. And then there's some skits in there. And like if you the intention is to listen to the album from top to bottom, not to mix it or shuffle it. And um, so, yeah, like before it was just dropping a bunch of singles and then uploading it to DistroKid. Right. But before 
it's like microwave beats is really just one big track in ableton that's split up in 22 sections like as soon as i cut one song the next one started immediately but if in ableton they overlap low-key <laughs> so one song as one song is ending when the, the when you hear the new song part of the old song is in the new song but you it's like the tail end of like reverb or delay and, but it gets straight to the next song so like i really love that I learned this technique. I went to 1500 Sound Academy and I had some of the teachers help me understand like the difference between releasing a single and mastering. And um, I actually really like mastering y'all. Ooh, like not the word, I don't like the word, but I, I enjoy the process of like being creative with an album, like hearing like Metro Booming, Metro Booming um, and 21 Savage album and how effortless each track would go transition. Um, that was dope. And then also hearing Renaissance and hearing Beyonce's album, how it felt like one full track. And you look down and you're like, I'm, all, I'm at track eight now. Like, how do we get here? <laughs> it's crazy. So um, when I went to school, I asked them about them. Like, how do we do it? And they even talked about like making, because I made the beat tape before I went to school or as I was in school. So I just needed to finish it. But moving forward, they even told me with mastering, like how to transition from one song to the next professionally is to know the key of the songs and to, to see, to make sure the keys match the next song. And it's some next level, beautiful. Mm. I like it, I love it. So. Keep that in mind when y'all are making albums and beat tapes. Instead of just putting a bunch of singles one after, like exporting them one at a time, put them all in one track. And then you can put skits in between or like sound effects or something. And then when someone's listening to it, it sounds like one consecutive experience. So, um, is this on spot for yes? Everything is on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, um, Bandcamp. Uh, you can get vinyl at, uh, the link is in the description, all three links. If you wanna stream it, if you wanna get the vinyl, if you wanna just, uh, if you wanna download it, get on, on Bandcamp and support your girl. Cause streaming y'all, we not getting paid from streaming like that. So I mean, it's when it adds up to like millions and billions, but like, it's dope when you can see people like go on Bandcamp, they spend their their actual money and the, I get the money directly the next week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, that's how it should be. I'm making a product and people are paying for the product and I should get the money for that. Um, and this whole streaming thing, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense because you're, you're basically you're fighting for people to listen to your music and people have a limited amount of time to listen to stuff. Sometimes they can buy stuff and listen to it later and that's still good enough. Like how it used to be when people bought CDs. So it's more, it's, it's super important to kind of just make sure you guys support artists because they spend a lot of time making this stuff, but also like understand these companies are taking advantage of artists and their products. Like, it's, it's this is a product that we just like anything that that anybody manufactures it takes time if you pay for it you are expecting that person to get the money and some of these <laughs> you'd be make, playing a, a subscription and they don't even see anything and you're listening to your favorite artists all the time so keep that in mind shout outs to Bandcamp shout outs to DistroKid shout outs to um all these places that allow us to be independent artists to collect a check without having to have a record label. Um, and I feel like there's a documentary now that just came out on Netflix called The Playlist. And it's like a, it's like, it's talking about what's going on with Spotify. And it's good that I'm grateful that they're talking about it because it's giving more awareness about like, um, hopefully getting us to be paid more from streaming, you know, because it's, it, I'm pretty sure they're they're making a lot of money way more than compared to how much they're giving to artists. So I know things are going to get better. So 
we're going to continue to make the best music, release the best music, keep doing the best we can, and also speak up about it, and also, like, um, you know, just that's it. Keep making stuff and, and stay, stand up, you know? Things are going to get better. We're figuring it out. I don't think the NFT thing was going to work out. Maybe. I don't know. You let me know. Did you guys buy any NFTs? <clears throat> How's that going? I still haven't done any of that. Still in the... I'm still a millennial, so... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes. But, um, we got to... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start this lovely listening party. And appreciate y'all coming through. Let's get started.
drums for three minutes on high. Stir and reset. Step three. Add other ingredients and cook again for two minutes on high. Step four. Let beats stand one minute to complete cooking. Break your neck.
up, Rigmon? What up, Taurus977? Thanks for checking out the Beats, Microwave Beats Volume 1, out now. Add it to your library for your girl. Drop in the comments where you're from, where you're at. How was your week? What's new? What's going on?
love. Thank you for the love. Got a lot of beautiful, beautiful black women producers in the room right now. Shout out to us. Shout out to that beautiful song. Now we're at the park. Get your Kool Aid. Get your icicle. Get your, go to the boat digger. Get your Jennifer Lopez ham and cheese with a with a with an orange soda and a, and a small and a small small chips. Yeah, that's what we get at the bodega. <laughs> Chop cheese. <laughs> Tell me your um go to bodega order in the comments, please. Let me know you at the bodega. Uh, you got the got the sandwiches, right? Put it in the comments. This is the song that you're gonna be listening to this summer while you're at the bodega, getting your pop, getting your lollipops, getting your getting your cigarellos. Get, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like a turkey turkey and swiss with a little you know salt and vinegar with the, with the, with the pepper with the lettuce to, you know with the uh, lettuce tomato the mayonnaise i'm a vegan now <laughs> they got vegan versions though hopefully the love everybody you got upper reality here we got fighting words fighting words <laughs> appreciate the love sean towards 1977 charles Zodiac sign, fighting words. Hey, what's your, tell me your bodega, y'all gotta tell me what y'all ordering at the bodega, y'all sleeping in the comments, I'ma stop the show if y'all don't tell me y'all bodega, y'all bodega, y'all bodega order. Thank you, bacon, egg, and cheese with some coffee, there we go, Charles, there we go, that's, that sounds, that sounds good, bacon, egg, and cheese, I wish I could use a bacon. Feeling inspired, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Tell them what kind of bread you want. I want the ones with all the seeds on it. No. You 
got a Spanish bodega by you. That's what's up. I wish, I wish you had bodegas. I, we, I mean, nah, LA, LA ain't got bodegas. <laughs> we got Erewhon. It's crazy. I don't, I don't walk in there. Sagittarius, I get it. I get it. I'm an Aries, so we're like compatible. So I get it. to bodega baby <laughs> give me a chopped cheese Y'all got that 2027 thing with the glitter inside. Thanks for, for everything, for supporting, for listening. 
Make sure y'all get the, the vinyl. This, this is the last day to get the vinyl. Make sure y'all pull up. The link is in the in the description. Today's the last day to get it. The pre-order is gonna be um in your home and the end of May. Only 100 copies. If you don't like it, resell it, you get your money better. I promise you probably will because there's only gonna be a hundred copies. But there's also Bandcamp, there's streaming, add it to your library, support your girl, put it on your playlist. Speaking of playlists, make sure you guys submit your music to the Beats playlist. I just updated this week, a lot of good beats that y'all submitted, I'm proud of y'all, y'all did good, but keep, keep, keep bringing them. Link is in the bio if you want to submit your beats. Do it today. Maybe I'll update it this weekend. You never know. You'll know if you got placed though. I need to know your bodega, your your go-to bodega um, order. Put it in the comments. This is gonna be real. Like I need to know what you get this week. <laughs> We're talking about meals. I don't know. One of the songs reminds me of New York. A lot of these songs remind me of New York City. I used to live in New York um, during college. I went to St. John's University, and I lived in Queens. I lived in Harlem. I'm in Tribeca. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people are making fun of Jennifer Lopez's order. <laughs> she she's probably thinking of Subway, but we're thinking of the bodega. <laughs> cheese <laughs> next song is uh orange soda <laughs> orange drink i don't even think she said orange juice or orange. <laughs> small bag of chips is song number three <laughs>
real have you seen jennifer lopez in the bronx at all i want to know your experience since you live there song that is going to be released later on I'm, gonna, I'm always going to play it for y'all this is what i made on the asr 10 this is my first beat on the asr 10 if you know you know just look up asr 10 it's the best sampler come on
got the ASR over there too. Y'all want to meet? I'm about to use it, y'all. song yet i don't know so many beats i got y'all and i'm so proud of each and every one of them you know thanks for coming through to listen to microwave beats i'm not done yet don't go nowhere where are you going ah i'm so grateful appreciate you guys listening to um the last 30 minutes of my music if you're here you're here i appreciate it um all those songs we're actually made here on this live stream. If you want to actually watch the process, the videos are still on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys supporting. Um, I'm very happy with how the beats came out, how the beat take came out. Of course, it was kind of before I, I knew what I was doing because I went to school while I was making this. So it's kind of weird when you're like self-taught and then you finally go to school and they're like teaching you how to properly mix and all that stuff and like after the fact i'm like of course i'm hearing things that could be <laughs> different but i'm just like just just move forward go for it the next one's gonna be even better but i still appreciate what i just made and i'm grateful very proud um and i'm gonna be promoting it y'all gonna be hearing it all the time we're not just gonna be talking about it once this is important make sure that if you're an artist to share your music tell people about it you know Drown it in their face. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, someone had asked me, is the SP4 for the last... Let me play a different song. Um, is the SP4 for always the last in the chain? Hold on one second. Lucy, honey bunch. Honey bunches of oak. Need it. Thank you. You want to come here? You want to sit in my lap? Come here. There you go. I'm sitting in mommy's lap. I'm done playing music. Come here. Okay. So, ooh, ew. Oh, I hate when she does that. She tries to kiss me in my mouth and stuff in my face. I don't do that. Anyways, um. Is the SP4 for always last in my chain? Um, it's not really last in my chain. It's it comes after the NPC from at least for this beat tape. I I had um I kind of moved this around. Let me just move it back to properly show you. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Lucy, get out my face. Try to lick me. Just kind of lick me. So um. I have the imp this is how I made microwave beats. I would load up samples on the MPC X, uh, chop it up. I like how the MPC chops. Um, and then I would stem, I would play each track through the SP404 and record it one to Ableton. So I would have each track have its own custom effect. So if you know, depending on how I felt, sometimes I'd, you know, pull up the cassette effect and layer with a different effect and just sample the the sample, like the actual melody, and then then do the drums and actually program it in Ableton so I could have more control. So uh, 
once I put it in Ableton, I'm able to have more control with EQing and using compressors that I want to use in my DAW. And then I export the song. And because I didn't know anything about mastering at this point in time when I made the beat tape, I would just put the songs. And um, well, actually, before I mastered it, I would put then I would actually take the song and put it back in the SP404 to get all of those really cool glitches and kind of feel like it's a, um, a live set as you're listening, but not too OD. So I'm able to do more when I do live sets, kind of like what you just saw me do. So um, once I then, so there's a lot of steps. Like I said, step one, chopping in the NPC, getting the, 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 the flavor or the warmth of whatever that's in the SP404 or individual tracks because I didn't want to blend the drums and whatever, right, the, um, the sample uh, yet. I wanted to do that. I want to blend it in Ableton because I can EQ the, the drums, I can EQ, you know, I can make a bass line in, the, in, in my DAW, I have a go-to bass. And then once I finish this, the beat in Ableton, I exported or imported the song into the SP404 to do little glitches and add-ons to it. And then I would put it back in or export that track. <laughs> and then because I didn't know about mastering, and there's nothing wrong with doing this, I was using Ozone 8. Like, you know, pulling up an eight ozone and it's like, hey, do you want to, um, you know, there's like a master assistant and you hit the button and it helps you master your track. Works perfectly fine. Sounds great. And then that's when I took all the tracks and put it in one giant Ableton project. I could show you guys that if you want me to, but it's it's very important to know because Like I said, if you're just dropping singles, it's cool. But if you want the songs to transition and effortlessly, uh, there's like it's like a little formula to do, you know. So, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna master that. I think it's really dope that when you actually say you're making an album, that it sounds like an actual album. Like we're really we're putting skits in it, we're putting interludes in it. We're it's just one cons it's an experience, you know. It's not just it's like one big track essentially. So, so yeah. The SP, I don't, I wouldn't say it's the last of my chain. <laughs> that's just how, that's the best way I can explain that. So hopefully that answers your, your question. So, um. All right, let's see. Um, so just got home from work, bumping this, getting ready for Easter weekend. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so woke and I really don't know if I should wake y'all up, but. I don't know if I should ruin your idea about Easter, <laughs> but all I got to say is what happens exactly in nine months and, and then what normal, never mind. Let me shut up. <laughs> um, I just, I just need y'all to, uh, wake up. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm in this space in my life where I'm just, I'm done sugarcoating stuff and I'm also done like. I'm calling things out and I'm, I'm speaking it. I'm, you know, why are we doing old stuff? <laughs> but, but I'm going to take, I'm going to let y'all do some history research for yourself. Cause I ain't getting into like politics and religion and all that stuff on this channel. But, but all I got to say is what's going to happen in nine months exactly around this time. And what, what makes, what, what's something that women have to go through that takes nine months. And what does a rabbit do? Why, why is there a rabbit? <laughs> Do you ever ask these questions? Or are you just, are you just picking out eggs? <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Microwave beats. <laughs> um, yes, the ASR-10, the East, the Insonic. I wish Insonic still exists and they still make products. Uh, the, it is crazy good, y'all. Like, this device is old, and it will shut off within, like, 30 seconds. It will get overwhelmed. It'll say, hey, ever, ever, re reboot, question mark. And you'll be right in the middle of a song, and there's nothing you can do about it. But the sound that comes out of it, 
just just go ahead and just pitch it up, it automatically sounds like a a, a Kanye West song or Just Blaze or Jake One or something like that. That's that last song I played for y'all was um like it took a regular royalty free sample and then turned it into a soul um Rockefeller put your hands in the sky beat. I'm gonna be making a whole beat tape just from the ASRs. I got so much to do, but I'm grateful for it. It's my life. Love being creative. Grateful uh, to get my hands on it. But I really wish they came out with a, a newer. I wish they still exist. You know. Lucy, stop it. Lucy, leave it. Lucy, stop it. She likes to do bad stuff, and I'm not watching her. I'm not doing that. No. What's the matter? You can't sit in my lap, and now you want to do bad stuff? Puppies gonna be puppies, you know what I'm saying? Um, I miss my favorite digging spot in Brooklyn. Please tell me about your favorite Brooklyn digging spot, and where was it, and how long ago was it, you know? Uh, ding, 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 ding. Why isn't this working? My keyboard is always weird. Um, I feel like they got rid of a lot of record stores in Brook or just in New York. I feel like every time, well, I feel like Mass Appeal has been slacking on the rhythm roulette stuff. That's why I end up making my own. But when they do do it in New York and stuff, they go to the same record place, like with the A1 Records and some other place. It's like, these are the only ones that are left. And it's so sad, because I, when I was in college, there was a bunch of record stores uh, when I went out, when I was living out there in New York. But I know was, there were even more before I got out there too. Um, so shout outs to the local record store. You know, um, of course, bravo. Yep, you got to keep it moving. Proud of you. Thank you so much. Definitely picking up the album. Thank you so much, Fighting Words. Thank you for listening, just vibing out and just coming out to say hi. And um, yeah, check out Microwave Beats Volume One. So in Bandcamp, today's the last day to get. So pre-order your vinyl and if you do pre-order it it's going to be in your hands by the end of may early june um i'm super grateful for those that have supported and have shared and has pre-ordered and uh and if you don't get the vinyl there's Bandcamp and they're streaming so add it to your library today and of course we're always going to continue to make music and release more music so i already got music already planned to come out like in, in two weeks, like two more, two songs that were in the NFL um, documentary that, I, that I'm gonna be releasing. I'm gonna be showing you guys a, um, like a diary, you know how I make diary entries and I post on YouTube, like the whole YouTube uh, vlog series. So I have one on the NFL, excuse me. So when I show the video, I wouldn't be able to, for you guys to listen to the music. So hopefully in the next two weeks, the video will be out and then the, um, the music will be out along with it. So that will be the next project. And then I have some EPs that are going to come out. Some hip hop, lo-fi hip hop stuff. And I got a Samba lo-fi hip hop album coming out. I got a uh, Afro beat lo-fi EP coming out. I got, you know, we just keep cranking it out. So make sure you understand that's the game, y'all. You know, but keep promoting what you have. Even if you, you released it two or three years ago, you know, do, you know, tell people about your stuff. Because some people, it's new to some people, so don't be afraid to over communicate. So shout out to all the independent artists out there that's watching. Um, let me make sure my dog is not doing bad stuff, y'all. Because I want to make beats, and she she just knows when I don't pay attention to her, she just goes off and does bad stuff, and then and then I gotta fix it. Thanks for you. Love you, babe. 
Where do you bet? Let me see if y'all can see her. I can barely see her. Where do you bet? You know you gotta give them the signal. The hand signal. Alright, so um I think I'm gonna make some beats. I'm gonna browse through some sounds. Um as much as I wanna get on the ASR ten, I, I have I have some projects that I'm working on and I have to stay on track. So, you know, um I will be working on the ASR ten once I'm done with this. I mean, I don't know. Let me think about it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna work on this. Keep the same vibes. You can do everything though. I like doing everything. And then my lot my dog looks at me, she's like, I gotta go outside. I'm like, girl, I'm making beats, girl. What's the matter? Um only if I could only have one piece of hardware for making beats, which unit would you go with? Um, man, I really wish Native Instruments would come out with an update. I wish that would be my answer, but I don't know. I like that. I think right now, because I'm after making the beat tape on the NPC, I feel so much more comfortable using it. Before I was on the struggle bus, I was like, I don't know what to do. This is scary. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know, you know. But I I feel like I could probably take the NPC live to anywhere and get so much done. Um, and then now they have NPC stems. Um, and it's cool that at least they do have it to where you can, it's, it kind of, it just stresses me out. It stresses me out. I'm gonna have to just be honest. You guys know, I'm gonna be honest when I make my reviews, I'm not gonna like beat around the bush. So like with the NPC, the workflow, I do not like it. Like it's, it's stressful. It's just too much to get to where you need to get to, but I'm gonna go through it because I have no choice. Um, so with the new stems right now, it's only in controller mode. Right, which means you plug it up to your computer in order to use the stems feature. So if you haven't tried it out, I would try it. Um, but there is a workaround to, let's say if you load a, uh, a sample and you pull up stems in controller mode, there's a way to save it onto your SD card and then to basically restart your MPC and turn it into controller mode or standalone mode. Yeah, you put it, it, it goes into standalone mode with the SD card in there and you can load that project and then you, you'll still have the stems there. But you see how many steps that takes when I could just go pull up Serato. Oh my God, like, this is like, bro, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Need it. So yeah, that's, and then, they're gonna come out with the standalone version later on. So I just like, I'm just like, why don't y'all just wait until it's completely done? Because it's like, I have to already know what sample I'm gonna wanna use, but the momentum is <laughs> it's like, by the time I'm chopping it up, it's 10 minutes later. Do you feel me? Do you, do you smell me? Am I the only one? No, I'm not. I'm pretty sure other people experience the same thing. Um, because on the if you have the, the machine and you load up a sample, there's a sampling button. And then if when you pull up a sample, there's a chop button and you just start chopping. That's two, three buttons on the on the NPC. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna get better. Um, so it's not, I don't really like to choose. I don't like when people ask me these questions. You guys, this is not going to happen. I'm not projecting that I'm going to only have one device in my life. So stop asking me this. I'm not going to be deserted on the island. 
you know, if I'm traveling, it depends. Like, if I'm going somewhere, like, if I'm going to, like, Vegas or something for the weekend, I ain't taking nothing with me. I'm taking my iPad, maybe. But I don't want to use my iPad. It's because I have to. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, you know, I take my SP to do live sets. I'm not making beats on my SP, you know. I can. And I'm not going to take this big ass. It just depends. So it just depends. So I think people ask me those questions just to... Uh, to see what they can buy for themselves, but you have to figure out what works for you. You have to figure out what's your budget. You gotta go to the stores and buy stuff. You gotta return stuff. You gotta press, press around stuff. You gotta get courses and understand how it works. You can't just expect to be the best when you first get these, these devices, y'all. A lot of people, they be buying a bunch of stuff. and <laughs> Like, yo, concentrate on the one thing you, you purchase, even if it's not the best device. So when I got the machine, I was like, I'm gonna be the best machinist in the world. And I know that thing in and out. And I taught other people how to use it too. So, and yeah. So, but I turned, I used that those skills and transformed it into Ableton. It's effortless because I already knew how to use a DAW or how to make music. So, yeah. As long as it's, it make beats and makes cool noises, it's cool. So, yeah. Um, Insomniac was a sick or great company it was I man i miss record stores we have none left here where are you jorge where are you where are you located i never seen her in the bronx but her picture is up next to krs1 and bam sound view train, sta uh, train station when i was young i would see wesley snipes that's wild yeah, so, yeah. I think we all know that she's not really around in the Bronx. It's okay. But she needs to stop talking about it like that. Uh, I was, I was missing my hair like running around in the Bronx. Like a wild child. That was 60 years ago, man. <laughs> Why do you keep bringing that old stuff up? I figured out my bodega order. Green juice with a banana. That sounds good. That sounds so good right now. A good juice from the bodega. I like that. Uh, much love, my uh, my sister. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you sharing your gift and knowledge with us. Of course, I'm paying it for it. I make sure that I, I, I wasn't born with this knowledge. So I'm going to share it with y'all. You know, um, and I hope you shared as well. There's my dog wanting to share. You see her? What's up, baby? Hey, baby, what's going on, girl? Your breath stink, girl. <laughs> Ooh, going to the vet to market your animal lens. You know, get your dog's butt thing, son. I ain't know about it until I got this dog. I was like, what's that smell? Oh, she smelled like that. Um, Jamaica Avenue Music Factory mix tapes and break beats. Man, Jamaica Avenue. Jamaica Avenue. Uh, it just it just sounds cold to me. I just remember being in New York it was wrapped up, but it was a good vibe. Lots of good music. I love the mixtapes. The mixtape era, the beat tape era, the, the cassette tape era is legendary. There's cassettes out there that hasn't been published or distributed. So I want to get my hands on some Jay Dilla tapes real bad. And I've seen them in the museum, but I want to hear them. And I, I will I got a cassette tape recorder. I'm going to figure out if I can record microwave beats on the cassette and see if I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not? You know, why not? Um, are there any rules on submitting to tracks on your beat playlist? So, um, make sure you have good beats. Like, I would really, like, take the chance. Like, listen to the playlist. Listen to what's going on. We want to we wanna make sure that when we hear the next song, it fits. It feels good. You know, so... I think the the most important thing is just making sure that the beats are good. It's mixed well. Some beats are very 
they don't hit meaning like your drums aren't like you could you could be having like a, a, a 60 second intro we don't need that we need like four bars and get straight to the drums or get straight to the drums you know um and the drums need to hit you know the bass needs to hit um but we don't need like a five minute beat a lot of people got like long beats it's just the same loop over and over it has to be it has to tell a story you know we don't want to hear the same loop over and 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 over again. Like very amateur beats aren't going to get it through. So a lot of people that are that they may not have a lot of followers, but their beats are dope. And that's this is really what it's for. Like I'm listed. I'm giving you all a chance to submit your music because a lot of people need to be heard. So some people spend a lot of time making music and they've been doing this for a while. I just think it's important that like what's really going to make sh this is it. It really this is just the first 10 seconds. I'm I'm literally going through a list of a whole spreadsheet of songs. And as a playlist editor now, I'm a playlist editor. I'm listening to this. It's within the first 10 seconds. If I'm not feeling it, sometimes I'm like, ooh, add it. Sometimes I'm just I'm literally scrubbing through the song just to just try to find where it actually starts building up or start. And if I got to do that, then I'm like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so it's really simple. Like, make good music, submit it. It's instrumental, it's beats. You know, everyone's, people try to put things in a box, but if it, if it vibes with the playlist, then I'll put it in there. And I'll send you an email with some assets so you can promote it yourself. You can tell people you got placed. Um, sometimes these are some people's first time getting playlists and I am really grateful to provide that opportunity for you guys. And, you know, the playlist is really dope and I hope that a lot of people get a chance to, um, to just add to their library and listen to it. And that link's down below if you want to, you know, while you're cleaning, while you're making some food tonight, microwave beats is on there. Other people's beats are on there. And it's just not me showing off my beats. I want to be able to have DBIC's beat, Ninth Wonder. We got um, um, Y Hunter, YN Hunter on there. And we have um, Jay Felt on there. We got Cooking Soul. We got Eldre. We got, um, you know, a lot of people that are really dope music producers, but also people that aren't well known like that. So it's a mixture of everything and everyone there. So a lot of female producers, a lot of, uh, you know, just really, just a, I want to be able to really represent. Because, you know, when they have these playlist editors, they're not really in the community. I don't know if y'all know this. They're just making, they're listening to music as it's submitted, but they don't know the actual artist. And I want to get to know you guys when I, when y'all submit music, you tell me where you're from. You know, I get to see your socials and check out what you're doing and um, be involved about what you're, what you're up to. So, like, it's really cool. I hope it inspires you to release more music. There's a link down below to DistroKid if you need a discount off your first year if you haven't released the music on streaming platforms. But yeah, just make good dope beats. And you know, if, like I said, a lot of people that aren't getting through is the beats that are too long. They're not, they're, they're just looping. Um, it's not mixed good and then like the sound selection is not good so it's got to hit like within the first 10 seconds just like a radio show it's like oh so i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm gonna give you some history a history lesson real quick the music industry the music industry started off with um before it was recording industry it was sheet music people would compose sheet music or ooh, some pot, some people would make a song so you could sing a, you can write a song happy birthday but then you would put it on sheet music and then d and you would publish that sheet music and people would get money after they would buy the, the sheet music right and then when the radio came out in order for um you to get on the radio they would test they would put and they still do this they put uh people in groups and then they they play music and if the song is something that's 
catchy and then they keep listen they it keeps repeating in their head later on uh, or they listen to it through, through the whole way this indicates that this will get people to listen through the whole way so they can listen to the ad because that's all it's all about is about the ads and that's all it's really been about so if your music sound within five seconds people know if they're going to listen to it the whole way and then your song it can't repeat like let's say if you have two choruses the choruses are they're choruses right they're kind of the same some people will copy and paste the chorus but you don't do that the chorus like the first chorus even though the lyrics may be the same they you can't copy and paste like the track or the vocals you have to actually record the whole song the whole song has to be unique the ad lips have to be intentional um so when you're making music you guys have to be conscious of the listener too i know a lot of people I only make beats for myself no i am letting it's a formula this is actual very intentional there's a lot of science behind all of this it's all like human behavior to get money okay if you want to get money like if you because people will skip there's algorithms in spotify that'll show us who's skipping the song we will remove you from that playlist um so and we won't add you if it doesn't if we know that it's not gonna hit if i know it's not hitting me because it's, it's all mind control it's all basically psycho psychology essentially so make sure your beats are good they hit it's it's like you're not giving us a 16 second the sixteen thousand intro and then the drums come in really soft later on <laughs> you're not gonna get at it so that's it it's really like we want to like we want people to listen we want them to and be like oh oh there's an ad oh i'm gonna get i'm gonna go through the ad because i want to keep listening few actually but there are one called collectibles on Fulton Avenue also I use to dig Beach Street and one more I but I forgot the name of it nice I know they have um conventions in New York sometimes I don't know if they still have them but I heard a lot of good stories about how collectors would have conventions at the hotels and the producers would dig for the exclusive I've been through a couple of those in North Carolina and they're really dope. They're very expensive, but they have very exclusive vinyl, um, very rare stuff. So I need to see where they're at now these days. I manage a rap music and we work in within music and they move slow. <laughs> what do you mean they move slow? Um, Shout out to you, Juan. Shout out to A Rap Music. Definitely a huge inspiration, especially with the finger drumming. I wanted to really get into finger drumming, but ain't nothing like no A Rap. Was just, you know what I'm saying? He's he the, he the best. He the best. The best. Um, we got Charlotte, North Carolina in the house. Shout out to North Carolina. I used machine for eight years and just switched to Ableton and got the push three controller version. Any advice? Um, uh, I mean, I couldn't tell you what advice to give you because I don't know where you're at. Like, I'm just, you say you're eight years, you should be fine, but I don't know if you know how to use Ableton yet. Um, Ableton is definitely stressful as well. Their workflow is, is as well. I'll be telling them like, y'all, it's not user friendly. And they're like, it's not supposed to be this ain't apple <laughs> this ain't logic I'm like yeah you're gonna you're, you're right because it's got little hidden things and stuff you can create you can create like your own it's just too much but when you get into it you're like oh my god i can do anything so um eventually i'm gonna make a course on that 
like getting started with Ableton, probably like a getting started with music production in general and with using Ableton 12, like a really basic course. So if you've been using it for eight years, it may be very helpful because there's a lot of little buttons on Ableton that that, that you have to hit in order to hear certain things or for things to work. And if you don't know those little buttons, it really messes up your workflow and the groove and all that stuff. So um, it's coming. So, but I say just the advice would just try to make a, a song every every day, you know, get, get used to it, you know. Um, that's what I'm gonna try to do. It's, I haven't been in Ableton all week been at Disneyland I, I got a spinal injection I got a new battery in my car <laughs> like, we're gonna be making beats today I'm grateful for that so um thanks for your response I have the 404 MK2 glad I got it I just love the look of the MPC X but never tried one probably next upgrade to the studio with Ableton Live 12. You cannot go wrong with the MPC X. It is a beast. It is, look at these pads. Like, shout outs to Zounds for for giving me this loaner device. Um, we'll be making a course on this as well and the MPC too. Um, I definitely feel more comfortable talking about it because I was able to make a whole beat tape on it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, totally. It's kind of hard out here, these streets, because there's so many good options, right? So many good options. And um, I don't limit myself. I'm going to get them all. And I recommend that you, you do as well. And if you don't like it, um, return it. Get your money back. And I promise you, they're going to come out with something else. Just when you spent your money on something, the iPhone 20 comes out. I just got the 12. I just got the 19. How dare you? I'm going to get that one too. I still have my Walkman from high school. Damn, this was up. Keep that stuff. I wish I would have kept all the stuff that I had. I had no idea how I was going to end up buying it all over again. <laughs> right? Uh, where's that, 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 that CD? That had a whole CD collection, you know, the little book with all the, um, where is it? Like, where is it? Um, how do we get in con, how do we contact you for licensing a song for a video? Well, um, my information is in the description, info at noquantize.com. Um, it depends on the song and yeah, I also have opportunities to have a catalog of stuff that you can listen to if you want to license something. So, um, yeah, come through, holla at me, holla, holla, holla. Um, cause, uh, we got IP over here. We got intellectual property. So if you want to listen to my <laughs> intellectual property and license it, I got, I got it. I got it keep making in fact we're gonna make some more we're gonna keep making intellectual property we're gonna keep making yes mm. Mm, ip mm. Mm. copyright mm. <laughs> licenses mm. um got any cool headphones yet i remember you said this one is this is the best right here um this is the sony mdv something i gotta make a bit i'm gonna hold on i'm in sony they got the weirdest you know mdv m mv ones yeah oh these headphones is crazy you know um but the thing is hold on okay 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 these headphones right here okay these are uh hold on let me put it down uh, -uh you better not cry you better not But no, not cry. All right, so what's going on, sweet water? What's going on, sweet water? Go to Guitar Center. All right, so um, these headphones. The reason why I love these head. There's a lot of good headphones, but and I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm actually, I got this cool relationship with Sony right now. 
Sony has this new technology called 360 reality. You know, um, it's their their um, spatial audio where basically it's not stereo anymore. It's not left and right. It's it's 360. It's everywhere around you. These headphones do that. So with if you are um, so come look, come a little closer. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. You know how we all make beats, and then we mix, and then there's mastering. You need to understand there's a huge opportunity in understanding spatial audio because that's the new way. There's there's going to be cars, there's going to be there's movie theaters, there's homes, there's um, spaces that are going to have this 360 reality, and they also get priority on playlists. They get priority. Like if you have a song, let's say, let's 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 say, let's say, let's pretend Jorge. I, let's say he he actually is like a big movie director, and he's making the next Lion King. Um, Lion King, two thousand and twenty-seven or something. I don't know. And he's like, I really need an Afro beat. And like, all right, let's say I already have an Afro beat, and the beat's already done. It's mix, it's master, so one shop stop. They need the beat by Wednesday, it's Monday. So I already have it done. What you're gonna wanna really make sure is not only having stems ready, but what if the song was already in spatial audio for them to have it in their movie? You're already helping them. You're probably gonna get probably gonna get paid a lot of money. Um, being ahead of the curve. So know this technology. I'm gonna make a video a little bit later on because I'm wrapping my head around it. I'm going to Sony. I've been to Sony's campus uh, a couple of times. They've shown it to me um, and now I have it on my computer and I, I see how it works. I'm able to move, like, I'm able to move any instrument like in a, in a uh, um, just imagine like a, a globe. Your, your, your head is in the middle of this globe and you get to control where the sounds go. Any, you can automate it too. So if you have rain falling, you know, it could fall downward. If you want like a siren to go around you, instead of it just be stereo, this is the new technology. So the reason why I like these headphones is when they had, um, they sent me over to the Sony campus. They had me in this room. It was 17 speakers around me. So I was listening to Thriller. And it was crazy, right? And then I had the headphones next to me, so they were just like, you can switch back and forth from listening to the speakers and then listen to what the headphones sound like. So I would listen like this to the speakers. And then when I put my headphones on, I look around and I look at them and I'm just like, did you guys switch from the speakers to the headphones? Because it sounds the same. Like it sounded when I put these headphones on that there were speakers. It felt like I was in a theme park. It sounded like I was in a movie theater. It didn't, it didn't, it literally didn't change. <laughs> I put that to, <laughs> I was listening to those 17 speakers. And when I put this on, nothing, it sounded this, it sounded as good and it was crazy. <laughs> I was like, wait, looking at them like, did y'all turn the headphones on? They're like, yeah. I'm like, what? And I had this, my reaction on video, I'm really surprised. So ever since then, I'm just like, yo, these headphones are crazy. So um, once you get into mixing your music with spatial audio, if you decide to use um, Sony's technology, I would highly recommend using both Adobe Atmos and spatial, um, this Sony 360, because what I also learned is that once you, once you render your your tracks in a, uh, the Sony 360 reality, you can then export it in Adobe as well. Like you could easily export an Adobe file too. So it's kind of like you can, you're doing kind of did two things at once, which is really dope. Um, so I'm wrapping my head around that, I'm learning that I'm going back later on next month. I'm gonna take a track that I made and mix it there. So I understand how to fully use it and export it and, um, and also transfer the file from a 360 reality file to an Adobe Atmos. Because if I can figure that out, then that's come a little closer. 
on 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 DistroKid as an independent artist, when you upload a song, there's an option to upload your track as an Adobe Atmos track. And I'm, when I'm telling you, these companies like Spotify, specifically Apple Music, and I know this for a fact, they want you to make sure that you release your music in Adobe Atmos or whatever 360 reality. They're giving priority to these people. And it's and then when you release music, you know, when you pull up the page and you see the artwork, it says what type of quality of music you've uploaded. And it'll say lossless um, or Adobe Atmos. And what that really means is if you have some um, AirPod Maxes, um, the AirPod, the AirPods, you could hear everything in spatial audio. And then some cars have this technology, but it's it's actually about to be everywhere, y'all. It's about to be crazy. So get into it. Um, yeah, that's just one pair of headphones <laughs> that I'm enjoying right now. So in regards to the stem. Appreciate the response as an independent uh, as an artist slash producer would get started in machine then at some point have a transition to logic or for vocals automation ableton felt like both in one still learning yeah ableton is perfect ableton is dope you just have to really commit to understanding it and once you do it's it's there's nothing wrong with it it's just complicated when you first start you're just like what is this and they they made it even worse because there's more stuff on the screen it's like oh let's add a mixer <laughs> okay but it already is like there's too many things going on as someone that's neurodivergent i enjoy pictures so that's why i like native instruments i like the colors and the pictures that native instruments provide like i could go see like an expansion pack and it'll give me a hip-hop feel and i know what i'm getting into with ableton i'm looking through millions of words and I'm just looking through a list of <sighs> but I'm glad you can once you organize it and you can have things placed where you want it to be which takes a while which once you get through that you know how to get through to that hip hop whatever so I'm advocating for Ableton right now but um yeah um I watched I watched some of your videos on sampling soul songs in your process was amazing to watch. Oh, thank you, Dylan. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos. I'm glad you're watching. And that is the I love shopping samples. Soul samples. Um, I have an NPC Live 2 Supreme Edition. I haven't opened yet. Wow. Wow. That's a privilege which is nice. Um, I may need to check out your lessons to inspire me to, oh my gosh, you're just letting it sit there. That's okay. That's inspiring to me. I know there's somebody out there that with one of the dopest beat machines and they need help. I got you. It's just, you gotta give me some time because I'm making music, but it's gonna, it's gonna come, it's coming. One thing that I'm doing is putting myself first in a space where I'm not pressuring myself like there's no point um but things will be coming um i'm in this phase where i'm promoting microwave beats of course i got some merch that i want to release um i'm excited excited about that but also releasing more music and then also um lucy stop what's the matter who are you barking at you be interrupting me no um so i just finished school at 1500 sound academy and it was an intense six months and i really want to take time to really recap everything i learned and apply it because there's so many gems that they gave us but it was every day every day and i'm writing things down i'm recording things and i want to go back to do this so i may have to take a you know like a little it's going to be like a hibernation station for me to and then it's like a slingshot. It's going to be, you know, like I'm already doing good, but it's going to get even better because there's so many things that they, they did teach us. And I'm like, OK, I need to make sure I'm actually that I don't forget this thing that they <laughs> that they put on us. There's so many good things. 
and I also want to show you guys and teach you guys along the way. There's so much to, to learn when the, when you're when you're committed to making music. Of course, there's music production, but there's you, you need to learn how to mix. But mixing, you, you need to know how to engineer first. I didn't know the difference between engineering and mixing. Some people just skip engineering. Like you need to know how to place the mic. You need to know the um you know signal. Uh, the the signal game or just the the chain you know what I'm saying like just knowing like the flow of um of your signal because when things don't work it cre it messes up the create um the, the the creative process understanding how to you know what a di box is and a preamp and all that stuff is super important but then like understanding different mics not each mic does everything you know what i'm saying so i want to take i want to reflect on all those things so i want to i'm making my own version of a lot of these uh, things i've learned into courses and so i'm going to take some time to make sure i understand fully so i can be able to, to express it to others so um and then these videos there's going to be a whole bunch of series of like courses to help people out so like music production in ableton NPC content creation. I know a lot of people need help in just once they make music. Like, how do I promote it? How do I how do I do a live stream? There's so many people that ask me about my live stream setup, and I'm just like, you have to come over to see what I did <laughs> because it's really I can't really explain it in one sentence. Um, but then I'm like, dang, this is some valuable information. I know a lot of people want to live stream and it's, it's been taking me a while to make sure everything looks the way I want it to look. And I want to be able to make sure that you don't have to spend a whole year and a half figuring out how to make sure your camera doesn't lag. <laughs> so I don't want to ever like gatekeep that information. So it's coming. So yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah, getting started with Ableton is not quick, taking me a while. So let's get into Ableton real quick. Let's let's see. I'm gonna show you guys what I did in Ableton to get my my life a little easier. Um, I made a template. Um, you can create a template from scratch. Just like remove all your tracks and ask yourself what would you want to automatically be there without because you the go-to stuff so i got my serato sample so i could just drag a sample in there i got my drum Hold on, let me turn this on real quick i got some drums so yeah i got like i already have like my go-to stuff up here like, like i already got like this drum kit already here um I, these it's like my drum section i got like an infinite i have a drum rack that's an infinite an infinite it's called the infinite drum rack each let's see like i got this kick here And if I just press this knob, it changes the kick. So I have literally like all my kick sounds, all my snare sounds. I, the, that's why I like Ableton. You just be pressing stuff and it knows. And let's say if I didn't like um, the kick or the snare, I just changed the knob on here. So I have that's that's one track. Um, I got the next the infinite drum rack, but just percussion sounds. So like so.
I can literally do the same thing where I um so I have, like I can still build on it too. I only have these these <laughs> little can like literally load them up and like each of them have layers underneath of different sounds. And then I already have my bass on the next track. All right, and then I have this thing called chord chordy mix. That's already just there. Like, if I want to make pretty chords, that's where my check it out song came out. Let me. This this app's kind of weird too, but let me. I gotta reload it. Lucy, please, girl. Who are you? Lucy. You be acting like you big, girl. Ain't nobody care. Nobody. You're making beautiful noises here. Allows you to, I don't know, like you can choose a, a a key and then a chord and then it can do an arpeggiator thing. It could um. this there if I want to mess with that but I got my uh yeah I have it to resample so I could freeze and I could freeze it if I do make something you know and then I have my complete suite here if I just want to browse through a bunch of stuff like um everything's here like this is where my native like all my native instrument stuff I guess is where I go um, literally, like if I want to pull up an expansion pack, um, I'm going to go to, there's a few different ways. You can pull up battery and it'll have everything loaded up for you. So if I go to battery, go to all banks, it these are all my expansion packs. So I can go to, let's go to Caribbean. Oh, <laughs> these are the Caribbean. Um, there we go. Got like a kind, just the the hip hop stuff. So it just pulls it up in battery. so much and com the complete is where my sound collection comes in and even has a I mean it has not just native instrument stuff these are like um got Arturia we got 
Future Audio, Native Instruments, Orange Tree Samples, Slate and Ash, Teletone, Yu Yuhi, Wide Blue Sound, a bunch of plugins live here. So I have a bunch of collections of sounds that I can choose from. The next track is like a customized synth that I made where if I hit this random button, it just change it could it creates its own weird sound. So it's like a little accent synth that I just can pull out. And then I have all of my external key like my external instruments here. I have my microphone, like this microphone if I wanted to start recording. Mic okay. check. <laughs> I just hit the uh, unarm unarm it. Got my SP404 right here. Everything's already mapped out as far as the audio. I got my, even my dub siren. Um, if I want to record it. And then I have my other instruments that are plugged in. So I have, you want to kind of get everything just ready when you pull up Ableton so you're not really struggling. So. It's super easy for me to make a beat. And then I have these um, return tracks, which are basically buses. The first one is Valhalla Vintage and put it on whatever, like a really low, <laughs> you know, not too bad of a, um, not too much. And I have a Valhalla Delay. Then I have my NY compressor. I got the, the, the LA 2A to compress compressor. So if you wanted to like, you know, put your signal through these these buses, I got them already there. So would highly recommend that you create a template for yourself. Um, so like today, for me personally, you guys can't do this. By the way, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna repeat this. I am an epidemic sound artist. I can go through their catalog and I can sample their catalog. So when I'm making like some of my epidemic sound music, sometimes I'll do that. So, but if you're not an artist through them, you can't do that. The music that's on epidemic is just for content creation. So if you have an account through them, you're paying a licensing fee. That's where you can download and do, you can get the stems for your, your content. The stems are not made for you to make your own beats. But as a producer with them, I could do that. So what I do in order to like remix some of these songs, um, I'll go through some songs and I'll remake it and turn it into my own version. Like just like any sample based producer. So um, I'm going to be listening. I've downloaded some drums that I feel like I'm going to keep. But I'm looking for like a good Afro beats melody. And then we'll probably see we can make some real quick. So I'm going to listen to to some vibes real quick. Hey, thanks for coming through. Thanks for coming through, checking out my live. This is definitely not giving Afro beats. We're going to Africa. Let's see what we got. Lucy, what is the matter with you?
foundation about this song. Just gonna chop these drums up. this complete like there's definitely um a, a sound pack or expansion pack what's it called that's why i need pictures man i need pictures or when you highlight it she give you a description of like the expansion pack Cause these words is just not giving, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's called global shake. Yeah. Let me just see what they got. Let me see what they got. Let me see what they got. I like the vocals though, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna duplicate this track and save that one for later and come back to it and mess with it. Um let me, let me find a melody though. I need a melody. I don't think I'm gonna get it from here though, so I'm gonna go back here.
get out of my face and let me download it. frustrated going through kit sounds individually and with that infinite drum rack you just rolled out the wheel of the sound i'm blown away yes that's why I like ableton is pretty cool once you wrap your head around it so cold in LA it's like May it's supposed to be May it was March but you know my head I'm not wishing the rain. I'm not wishing the rain to come. I got a penny out of the bus tomorrow. <laughs> I got a penny out of the bus with my buddies. Maybe it'll it'll stop while we're doing that. I'm a manifester. I will be I will be delusional as long as I need to in order for that manifestation to pop up. Thanks for the uh, subscribe or follow. about Ableton these notes for some reason don't want to overlap
You're such a fluffy, cute puppy. You're just so grumpy all the time. You know? What's up with that? I know. Like, you have it all. Like, what's wrong with you? You know? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Let me see. The delusion getting a lot of us through right now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I only I only will subscribe to what I want to see in my reality. People, some people be like, I'm broke. I'm like, money's obsessed with me. She at the door right now. She calling me right now. I don't know what's wrong. Your reality is different. I don't, I don't. I don't subscribe to that. Get away from me. Okay. Uh huh. E. Uh huh. E. Oh. Messing with this. I don't know if this is gonna be it, but you know. You never give up on your ideas, even though you know.
going on in here. It's getting cold, y'all. Got me a snack. I got me some 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 chips. What you snacking on right now? What's going on in your life? Like what you, what you eating on? What's for dinner? Are we eating pizza tonight? You know. Are we eating tacos? Some oxtail. Appreciate you. Get your hands up in there. You know? You know, you feel me? You got your nice shaker, B. You don't need no shaker, but you don't even need no shaker. Use your, you use your, your, your melanator hand. Give up on it. You can quantize the audio to fit 
you can kind of see it kind of knows already where the the hits are hitting so if i hit command u it'll put it on grid my hand claps so there's no nothing wrong with using quantize y'all but you can as you can see you can adjust the markers if you want it to be a little bit you know so Duplicate it so I have my claps in my hand, my sh my ashy hands. I'm gonna call this Ash. Catch them all, Ash. And then we got got our hand clap, got our ashy hand clap. You know, don't be afraid to use your your body. Your body's an instrument. You know, if you need a clap, clap your hands. You know, I can play them both. My hands, my ash. Hey. Go here and like beef it up. Beef it. Let me put it. I'll just put a regular drum bus. We're gonna use the stock stuff right now. Mm -mm -mm. Automatically sounds delicious already. it later but I'm trying to like get the idea get them get them get them get them heard a little effects rack with all my effects already on it. I got my Pro Q, I got my compressor, my R RC20 already here, I got my everything. I don't have to drag and drop and kind of just start from scratch anymore. So this is a, a 10 out of 10 recommendation. With Ableton you can already have everything loaded up in the template and you don't have to worry about going through that little side window over there all the time. Especially when you know you use the same stuff, you know? scale there know your scales y'all
party there. Ain't gotta, ain't gotta worry about it. earlier now we're back in Africa
I'm gonna go to baby. Um. I'm gonna call the. Bodega in Africa. <laughs> Why not? This album is basically manifesting me going to Africa. I've already been to Egypt, but I gotta go. I gotta go South Africa, Nigeria, um, Ghana, Madagascar. We're there. If I can add some stuff like That'll do Spongebob. We don't need that much. You know, this is hip hop. You know, you know, Spongebob. Okay. Gotta let it. Okay. you guys section three we got three sections we got drum one i need to make sure i notate which samples i'm using because we want to make sure we are just not just taking people's stuff we give them credit this song is called signs yes next to it this song these drums came from a song called nice And then we got this drum sample. You can't even see. 
L R two D cure. All right, and I'm gonna start grouping things. That these are drums, so I'm gonna just put this in a group. Call this group called drums, and start. Putting like my ashy hands into the drum section. I got my clef, my ash. We're gonna drag that over to the drum section. We wanna stay organized as we're making music, you know? You know. Oops. I feel like I need like, I want a bigger screen or a dual to screen, dual screen on my computer. Is that taking it too far? No, no it's not. We're, we're, we're committed. Oh, we got our ash, we got our clap, and the group of the drums. So now when I... Wait, they're not in the group. Okay, I took them out. Back in the group. There we go. When I move the drums, all the drums get muted. So I also like to add some hip hop drums on top of the Afrobeat drums. So we're gonna make it real hip hop. So let me do that. Let me drop. My drums. Got my drum collection. I got a nice collection of drums. Yeah, that's not gonna give. Do whatever feels good. Create a different sample pack.
see what they can play together nicely. <laughs> Hmm. Have you used drum kits? Figure it out later, but it's the gist of it. job is to take you to South Africa but also back to Brooklyn and North and back to America <laughs> real African-American music <laughs>
So I'm gonna delete that. This here. Mm -hmm. Let me take all of my drums. Take everything over to the arrangement side. And job Ableton.
Since it's been a minute since I felt this way, she got her mind up in. Expecting anything the first couple of seconds I was like I don't know this is this is a vibe this is I'm in Africa it's a hip hop Did anyone watch that Nickelodeon documentary in here? How are you feeling? What's going on with you? Are you okay? I want to talk about it. That's all I keep thinking about in the last two weeks. How did he add the voice? With my vocals? With my mouth? Come on, this? I use my microphone. I got auto tune. Sounds like this. Lossy, plug in, give me that like, that phone call sound. I haven't EQ'd it or compressed it yet, but put some reverb on it.
if it was duplicated, that's why. I could duplicate it. Maybe I did. Or I delete something. Like, why does it sound loud? Okay. That makes sense. Much better. Save. Record that siren. I'm gonna get it done. We're getting it done, baby. We're getting it done, baby. I'm gonna record music, maybe. I see, I see, I see. Six o'clock. Six twenty. I got. I just don't want to stop. You know what I'm saying? But it's, I can't believe it's so it's still light out. I'm here for it. Springtime is here. Spring it, spring it over. Look through these categories. Picking up random stuff. Let's 
So like, I'm just gonna save it. There's this, honestly, wasn't expecting to have a whole song, just, but it came and I'm grateful. So I'm gonna go ahead and export what I have, but what I in intend to do to um, make sure it sounds full and complete, of course, is mixing, but additionally, is making like adding buildups, transitions, adding like African drums, more African drums, like ba -da -ba -ba, like in between and like each section. Um, dealing with like different types of um, African or world instruments, adding that, some shakers, some, you know, just more, more Africa, putting more Africa in it. Um, but it, it came out really good. I'm very grateful. So this is going to be a part of my Afrobeat EP, Afrobeat lo-fi hip hop beat tape or EP that I'm making. And um, like blending the two together, it's been a thrill. Like I've been making some dope stuff and I'm grateful to, to kind of do that because hip hop is so universal. Hip hop is different genres being blended. So being intentional of what genres you're blending to make your hip hop is really dope. So like just grab, gra grabbing random stuff is okay, but like let me stick in this section. Like if you're going vinyl record shopping, I'm just going to go to the soundtrack section. That's going to be my beat tape. Or I'm just going to the international section, but specifically the Brazilian section. And I'm going to make samba hip hop. You know, Jay, Jay Dilla did, did that. Um, so just being intentional with the samples that you're getting to create a certain vibe of when you make a project. So it's not just you got the Spanish type lo-fi beat and then it goes into like a, a space ship type thing you know so i'm i'm learning to be more intentional and and even though i can have a collection of sounds or different ways to make beats i want my projects to be consistent and sound like they belong together so that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna i'm really grateful we made this so beat bodega in africa Boom. Yes. Play one of these songs. Thank you guys for coming through today to listen to Microwave Beats Volume 1. This is it. If you are interested in copying the vinyl today is the last day it will not be available for you to to cop because we're going into production we're going to get this um vinyl pressed we're going to listen to some press some test pressings and then we're going to get them shipped out it's going to take six to eight weeks shout out to diggers factory for helping me out with this experience um there's only 100 copies of the vinyl being sold so they're literally selling out right now. So if you're looking to get it, get it now. The link is right there pinned in the, in the chat, in the description. But um, if you enjoy listening to Microwave Beats, make sure you add it to your library. Um, let me know that you listen to it, you know. And uh, if you really like it, grab it on Bandcamp as well. Helps the artists, helps this channel, helps so much. So thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for vibing out with me. Give me good energy, good feedback. Thank you for hanging out with me, making a new beat. I'm excited for the music that's out. I'm so grateful you can go to Instagram and type my name. And there's 22 new beats. Um, a lot of my epidemic sound music is not on, on Instagram. Um, and hopefully that gets worked out at some point this year but in the meantime as, as an independent artist it's dope to release my own music and to see it there and i put it there and it's great and then we're working on new music that's that's gonna come out later we're just gonna keep going you know we keep going y'all keep making beats y'all keep being better be nice be nice to yourself do something nice for yourself too okay I love you. Thanks for coming through to Microwave Beats with Sarah the Instrumentalist.